I guess my day probably starts just like about any other pro streamer. Uh, get thwole, chat up some babes, and uh, kick back a cold one. Then I strap in for 10 to 12 straight hours of painting on stream. Key to my success? Simple, really. I only paint the miniatures by the most reputable of miniature companies. Companies that uh, pay their employees fairly, and they only protect their IPs under the most dire of circumstances. And most importantly, they support creators like me that get so much free advertising and marketing for their wonderful games. Oh, the name of my channel? Yeah, it's uh, Not a Narc Mini Painting Studio. <laughs> Hey again, hobby friends. Now for today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. God, I hope this doesn't suck. Let's begin in the same way any good English paper we wrote in high school would, and that would be with a definition from Webster's Dictionary here. Imposter syndrome is defined as a psychological condition that is characterized by persistent doubt concerning one's abilities or accomplishments accompanied by the fear of being exposed as a fraud, despite evidence of one's ongoing success. Now you're probably asking yourself, what the heck does this have to do with me? And what does this have to do with a miniature painting hobby in general? All good questions, and those will be revealed by the end of our time together today. But in the meantime, let me pose a question to you. Have you ever had the feeling that you're out of your depth, in too deep, Maybe that somebody's going to figure out that you don't know what the hell you're doing. Or maybe you just feel bad that you don't deserve the praise or the accolades that you've received and that others' ideas and skills are far superior to yours. I have these feelings. Heck, I had these feelings when I was trying to figure out how to paint this model for today's video. And I have them every time I release a video that you guys are all going to figure out that I don't know what the heck I'm doing and I'm a terrible mini painter and a terrible creator. And you're never going to watch another video again. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Throughout the painting footage in today's video, you're going to see on your screen what was going on in my head. What were my thoughts? What were my doubts? What were my hesitations? And while we do that, let's do a little bit more research on imposter syndrome. As it turns out, imposter syndrome is incredibly common, affecting people across gender, race, age, and occupation. To call it a syndrome is actually to downplay how universal it really is. It's not a disease or an abnormality, and it isn't necessarily tied to anxiety, depression, or self-esteem. It can manifest itself in your career, in your hobbies, in your personal relationships. And the more I learn about imposter syndrome, the more I notice it all around us in the miniature painting hobby, hanging on our ankles like a chain, keeping us dragged to the bottom of the ocean and not letting us reach our fulfillment, our happiness and joy in the miniature painting hobby. So where exactly does it come from? The root of imposter syndrome lies in our inaccurate understanding of what other people are really like. It's not that we don't acknowledge our own faults and flaws, it's that we don't recognize all those flaws in those around us. It seems to make sense, right? The only person in the world that we truly know inside and out is ourselves. Those thoughts of doubt, hesitation, insecurity, we hear them all the time in our own heads but we don't ever hear that internal dialogue from others. And because we don't know of these negative thoughts inside other people's heads, we just kind of assume they aren't there. We assume everyone else has it all figured out and that they are just much more skilled than us. This can lead to feelings that we don't deserve accolades or opportunities over other people. And it's important to note that there is no threshold of accomplishment that if you reach it, these feelings will subside. Two titans in their fields, Maya Angelou and Albert Einstein, both have writings of their feelings of imposter syndrome even at the height of their careers.
It is the start of a new month, and that means that this week's sponsor, Broken Anvil Miniatures, has a big old batch of new minis for you over on their Patreon campaign, Broken Anvil Monthly. This monthly Patreon offers an array of epically offbeat 32mm tabletop miniatures for their patrons each month, all expertly pre-supported for click and print accessibility and designed with painters of all skill levels in mind. Whether you're new to the hobby or a long-time maker, the Broken Anvil's teams of artists and designers are dedicated to bringing you fresh, fun content to fuel your creativity. Starting in August, you'll receive D&D 5th Edition Monster Stat Blocks and a full one-page adventure each month. And this will tie into all the miniatures and the themes that they bring out in that month. Thank you, Broken Anvil Miniatures, for supporting the channel. Let's get back to the video. So let's examine a couple of ways that this shows itself in our own miniature painting hobby. Every time we see an amazing mini painted on Instagram or Facebook or in a YouTube video, we kind of just assume the artist knew exactly what they were doing all along. That they knew exactly what colors worked well together and they could envision the finished scheme in their head ever before they started painting. They knew exactly where all the highlights and shadows would go and how much or little they should add. Oh, and of course, they didn't actually ever make any mistakes in the painting process, did they? But that's not how it works for us, is it? Every time I've got to pick a color, it's a painstaking process, trying not to pick the wrong color. Every time I do highlights and shadows, I feel like they didn't turn out right and it looks like garbage. And then I spend more time trying to fix my mistakes than I actually do making progress on the painted model. But what if I told you that those amazing painters that you look up to had the same internal struggles as you? And the painters that they look up to have the same struggles as well. And guess what else? Somebody out there looks up to your paint jobs as amazing and they have these same internal struggles and insecurities. And they also think that you've got it all figured out. And these are just a couple of examples of how imposter syndrome can show itself in our hobby or anywhere else in the world. There's tons out there, both big and small. Now that Dr. John has diagnosed me with this horrible disfigurement, what the heck am I supposed to do? How do I get beyond these terrible feelings and just get on to having some fun painting minis? Or maybe just not feeling so unsure of myself in my day job? Or just having a more successful personal relationship? Or the million other ways that imposter syndrome can creep into our daily lives? Well, I'm not an actual doctor, so I can't prescribe you any medications for this. But even if I could, I wouldn't. What I'm going to do is share with you what I've started to do and it's worked for me. First, acknowledgement. Understand that these feelings are real, natural, and not likely to entirely go away. Nothing is wrong with us. Well, there's a lot of things wrong with me, but this isn't one of them. Now that we've acknowledged it, the most surefire way to combat imposter syndrome is to talk about it. It's the reason I'm making this video. Hearing from a peer or mentor who has had similar feelings can help relieve those fears. Even finding out that there's a term for this, maybe something you've just felt in your gut for years, can be an incredible relief. So don't be afraid to talk to other mini painters about these feelings, whether it's in person, at your gaming club, through a Facebook group, or heck, even down below in the comments section here. We should be here to support each other on our hobby journeys, no matter where we hope to go with them. And so when you feel like the water is too deep, don't be afraid to ask for help and support. Use these opportunities for us to learn, improve, and hone our skills in our craft. Next, don't freeze. It's okay to feel like you're out of your league but just acknowledge that it's not okay to use that as an excuse to stop. Keep moving forward and I promise you the feelings will start to subside, at least momentarily. It's okay for you to feel out of your depth sometimes when you can't hit the eject button. And heck, even if you can hit the eject button, I urge you not to. Harness that opportunity to learn. And harness is the key word. 
This is not about conquering imposter syndrome. This is about acknowledging that it's there and using that opportunity for good. Remember, one point of a work of art is to give insight to the artist's life, perspective, imperfections, and faults. Think of your favorite character in a novel, film, or song, and what you learned about the inside of that character based on the work of art. That oftentimes is a manifestation of what the artists themselves are feeling. So if you find yourself struggling to pick colors whenever you paint your models, next time, paint a mini that's an explosion of colors. Prove to yourself that color is not something to be feared. And as that mini sits on your shelf, let it serve as a reminder of your journey, not your faults. And while we may never be able to fully dispel the feelings of imposter syndrome entirely, let me remind you of the truth. You have talent, you are capable, and you belong. Thanks for hanging out today. I know we didn't get any better at learning how to blend or to edge highlight or to paint eyes, but I hope you found something maybe a little bit more in depth that you learned from in this video. If there's a different kind of mental roadblock that you find in front of yourself in your hobby, please talk about it in the comments below if you're comfortable doing so. Or if you found another way to help with your own imposter syndrome and you think it might help fellow hobbyists, please do that as well. Oh, and while you're down there, make sure you like the video and hit subscribe. That helps me out a lot, and you'll know when my next video drops. If you enjoy my videos and you want to support me in making more of them, please consider checking out the Patreon link in the video description below. We've got a wonderful, supportive group of mini painters out there on my Discord that hang out all the time, as well as a bunch of other fun rewards as a small thank you for helping making these videos a reality. You could also consider doing your hobby shopping through my affiliate links down in that video description, or maybe pick up a Ninjon shirt, like this sexy new one that just got launched. Check it out. So until next time, why don't you get out there, slay the gray. I love technology. No, mom, I don't want a Hot Pocket right now.